Hello. Today's video is going to be a little bit different from normal because it is basically just an excuse for me to rant about one of my favourite animals, the sloth. Mainly due to the fact that the sloth is my spirit animal, and it's probably yours as well. Hello! Welcome to Brain Spill, the laziest show on the internet. My name is Tank, and I present to you Sloths. So, why am I making this video today? Well, it's due to the fact that, as you're probably aware on this channel, I like to make content on the weird and the wonderful. And, well, sloths are pretty strange, and I just wanted an excuse to talk about sloths for 10 minutes, so here we go. A sloth is a neotropical mammal known for their tree-hugging tendencies. Very different from their ground sloth cousins, who are now mostly just found in museum exhibits. But, more on that later. Sloths spend most of their days hanging around in trees, moving at a slow pace and a general chill lifestyle in tropical rainforests of South America and Central America. I mean, just look at this guy, he's so cute. I mean, I could literally sit here and just watch him all day. And you know what, that's probably what I'm gonna do because it's gonna take him about five minutes to climb that tree anyway, so here we go. So, what makes sloths great climbers? And it's a bit strange because they're such slow creatures and it does make you wonder how they're able to keep themselves in the tree for so long. Well, it's largely due to a couple of factors. But the big one is the fact that they have two large claws on their hands, which they can basically use to grapple and hold onto trees. And because of the fact that they've got incredible grip, they can pretty much hook and clasp themselves onto anything and pretty much stay there as long as they want. It also helps that the muscles in their forearms are specifically built for this purpose, meaning that a sloth can effortlessly hang from a tree for hours on end, even go to sleep in a locked position and just hang there to basically stay out of the way of predators. They're pretty genius animals. And hey, he's got to the top of that tree. And yes, the general knowledge for sloths is that they're pretty chill and arguably lazy creatures, mainly due to the fact that the average sloth is known to sleep for about 15 hours a day, so um, for the rest of the time you'd hope that they'd be pretty energetic. But no, they're slow and sluggish. However, there is very good reason for this, and it's largely due to the fact that the sloth doesn't want to expend a lot of energy doing random stuff. Why not conserve the energy you have by doing slow and meticulous movements only when absolutely necessary? Despite the fact that the sloth is incredibly slow, they are incredibly strong animals. And if you were to challenge a sloth to a pull-up competition, you're almost guaranteed to lose. This is due to the fact that from the moment they are born, sloths are able to lift their entire body weight upwards with just one arm. Not only that, but sloths have 30% less muscle mass than similar sized mammals and are over three times stronger than the average human. This is helped by their muscle arrangement and that they can lock their limbs into place whilst climbing, making this pretty effortless for them. Almost like they were built for this. No wonder they decide to spend most of their time suspended from the treetops. And yes, if I had the choice, I would sleep for 15 hours too, but I have uh, something called responsibilities and have to go get a job to pay rent, so my spirit animal says I'm a sloth, but in reality, I'm just a corporate monkey. There are a number of differences, however, that makes us very different from the sloth, as whilst I go to the toilet probably three times a day due to my horrendous diet, the sloth has been known to relieve themselves only once a week in which they lose a third of their body weight in one go. That is crazy. I mean, that's like giving birth every week just because you basically don't go the rest of the time. I'm surprised that these guys still feel fine after that long. This bizarre weekly ritual requires them to venture down from their tree, in which they dig a hole at the base of the tree they're on, poop in it, cover it up, and then climb back up the tree. As you might imagine, this is one of the few times that they come down from trees, and it's certainly when the sloth is most vulnerable from predators, which is partly why they don't do it that often. So yes, for some of you sloth lovers out there, you probably knew that already, so let's go into some other facts, something you may not know. Despite the fact that the sloth is incredibly slow, they are actually very quick in the water. So much so that a sloth is an incredible swimmer, and they're actually faster in the water than they are on land 
which is helpful for them to traverse the land to get to either a different habitat or maybe even hear the call of a mate. So uh, they can get around when they want to, provided there's a large body of water nearby. So yes, fun fact, a sloth is known as a foliovore, feeding mostly on leaves, fruits, tree sap, and basically they have an incredibly complicated digestive structure with multiple chambers which assists them with digesting tough foods. This results in a low metabolism and a digestion that means that it can take days or even weeks to fully digest food in some cases. Which is also probably the reason that they don't relieve themselves for a week at a time if you're eating nothing but leaves. I might take that away from my own diet, but there we are. The slow and motionless sloth is an odd creature in that it makes you wonder how something so slow has managed to survive for so long and not become prey. This not only comes from their slow and purposely sluggish actions to conserve energy, but it is also an aspect of survival that they have somewhat of a camouflage in order to hide in plain sight in the trees without many people seeing that they're even there. In many sloth species, they have cracks in their hair, allowing different species of fungi and algae to grow, which gives them their greenish colour. So yeah, basically a sloth has an invisibility cloak made out of bacteria, which is both cool and also incredibly odd to say, but that's science for you. The other cool thing is that, apparently, this bacteria is helpful in the prevention of certain diseases and, apparently, even combats cancer. As to how true that is, I couldn't tell you, but the internet has some weird and wonderful things on it. So, taking a complete 180 on the topic, did you know that sloths are blind in direct daylight? Probably has something to do with that whole sleeping thing. If you can't see where you're going, then why not just sleep through it? Sloths have this condition called rod monochromacy, which means that they completely lack cone cells in their eyes. As a result, all sloths are colorblind and can only see quite poorly in dim light and are completely blind in bright light. Look, I am just throwing facts at your left, right and centre today. I mean, I told you at the start of the video I was going to do that and here I am delivering. And just another one to add on top of it, like any animal that has diminished sensors, it has improved sensors in other aspects, such as the sloth smell, which is known to be particularly good. So I guess it's got that going for it, in any event. And you know what, because I'm feeling nice, I'm gonna give you one more fact. We don't know how long sloths live for. Yep, you'd think that with the years of study that we would actually know the answer to this, but uh, we don't. Maybe these immortal beings are actually timeless tree gods and that we all have to bow down to them. But no, this is due to the fact that they are actually very difficult to study in the wild, due to the fact that nobody to date has been able to follow and study a sloth from birth to death in the wild, and because of that we don't know how long they live for. However, in captivity, sloths are known to live for about 20 years, but it's suspected in the wild that it might be much more than that. So, the mystery still lingers, and maybe one day in the near future, we'll have our answer. But for now, they're just timeless gods that we all have to bow down to. And that is the wonderful world of sloths. Time for me to go and sleep for 15 hours, because uh, I'm sick of talking about sloths at this point. If you guys enjoyed that video, here's another one just like it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Fantastic.